the first thing we're going to want to do is to actually bring in the file into the slicing software called Preform. Inside here, what we can do is we can check onto the printer. We can confirm what resin we're going to be using. And then we can start to look at the layer thickness and the orientation of the part. We're going to orientate onto an angle to ensure the best print quality. And from this, we can get it to automatically generate support material. Once the support material is generated, we can check the print time, the amount of volume required, and we can send it to the printer. We can see that the printer currently has a different type of resin on it, and we're going to look now how we can change that over on the printer. In front of us, we have the replacement resin tank, build platform, and resin cartridge. and we can see that the file that we are creating inside Preform has been uploaded onto the printer itself. The resin cartridge is removed and is replaced. And once it's loaded onto the printer itself, it will then confirm this inside the user interface. The next step is to actually change over the resin tank. The existing one is pulled out. And the replacement resin tank is inserted in. Once the resin tank has been removed from the printer, it's put into its carry case. The orange lid on top of it ensures that no UV light can access the resin tank. Therefore, it can be kept stored away until the next time it's needed to be used. The next step we need to do is to insert in the build platform. We move up the latch slide the build platform in, and close the latch back down again. The printer now confirms that it has all of the necessary materials in order to start the print. The very last step is to open up the vent cap, which is going to allow the resin to drain from the cartridge and it will automatically dispense into the printer when it needs it throughout the job. 